for a start. 125. Well, I'm not going to know a lot about Shane, but he was the outsider of the two, and he went 13 to 8 before the off. Rob Collins was installed as favourite. Rob Collins, of course, has played some previous live league. Played week one. 26. 4-3 win over Martin Adams with a 90 average, a 4-3 loss to Jamie Kelling, a 4-2 loss to Jason Askew, 4-3 defeat to Justin Smith, 4-3 win over Jamie Kelling and a 4-2 win again over Martin Adams. Happy aim in the nineties, that's for sure. Throw so doesn't look a lot different. Semi finalist in nineteen ninety nine in the PDC World Championships. Eighty five. Grand Prix finalist in 1999 and 2000. Quarters of the World Masters in 93. A semi in the World Match Play in 94. 16. A British Match Play semi finalist in 1993. A great old tournament that. That was the top eight in that one. 79. Then 60, 69 left. For the 33, the 36, but a good bit of pressure on the 52 now. 12 for tops. Two tens. 32. Shane Burgess. Start this match with a hold of throw. For double eighteen, it's close. Hits the double eighteen and does hold throw. Well, his first dart was in the treble twenty, and his final dart was in the double eighteen. Leads one nil. Rob Collins to throw first in leg two. If there was any early nerves, that will settle them. Sixty. On the match goes to Rob Collins. Five players in action for you this evening. 95. Paul Hogan and Niall Cullerton up next, being two of the other five. And then Reese Robinson 85. will be in action against Shane Burgess in match number three. Day one of Group B, Scott Marsh tops the table on 10 points, winning all of his matches. Joe Davis in second spot on 8 points. 56. So the top two from that group. And this will join 
Martin Adams in Saturday night's five man final. Martin Adams won Group A, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning group. One language. Double ten for one apiece. Double five. Oh, ten. And a chance for a steal for Burgess and a two nil lead. Double ten. Oh, ball double eight, right in the middle of the ball. Game two. And that is a clinical finish despite the 180 there from Rob Collins. Shane Burgess taking out 66, ball double eight, leads two nil. So far, so good for Shane. Eighty-five. Thinking back over a few memories, it was twenty-one years ago I played Shane in the final of the Irish Masters. How was that time gone? <coughs> Eighty-five. A bit of a loose one. <coughs> Fifty-two. The lead, though. Forty. One eighty to Shane Burgess. So one forty takes him down to ninety one. Rob Collins a long, long way back. One hundred. Four. Seventeen for tops for three nil. Possible fourteen darter. Double fourteen for double sixteen. Just set the shot up with the twenty. Fifty one. Joining us for the first time. Sit back and enjoy an evening of action. Good lineup for you this evening. Two tens. Won't want to give this one away. Ooh, two fives. Game three. And finds it with his final dart. And three nil to Shane Burgess. Well, nobody really. Could see this coming. But he has the. Uh, he doesn't have to throw in leg four, but of course. Have opportunities in legs five and seven with the darts to close this one out. 60. 50% on his doubles at the moment. Two 140s, four scores are between a ton and 139. Been under the lights in this kind of environment for a very, very long time. Quite small adjustments around the 60. It's the thing a player tends to lose but this is great effort so far from Burgess 57. six missed darts and doubles have been costly of course for Collins both had have had six darts at a double but Shane is it three of his uh, 58 
long than I do. Does hit in quite a few 180s. My memory serves me right from his inclusion in the live league before. This is second in this match. Three and a bit legs. Tops for 3 1. Tops he gets. Best leg of the match so far. A 15 dart holder throw there for Rob Collins. Now he has a little foothold in the match. Can he build on it? So Shane has the darts in this leg. The seventh. Two opportunities on throw. Still playing. Sixteen. Back in the day. Highly rated by his peers, Shane Burgess. Prolific winner on the open circuit. Tom. Probably new to the more modern darts fan. On 40. Like a third 180. Shane is 80 in front. These one hundred down to one two one after nine. A possible twelve darter is averaging eighty seven. Sixty. Sixty one, twenty five, thirty six. With Rob Collins on 2 for one If he'd have been on a shot, of course. He would have gone 11 ball. But tops after 12. Seven. No real pressure. Game one. Pins tops. And that was the best leg of the match. A 13 dart hold a throw there for Shane Burgess, winning legs of 21, 17, 18 and 13. Gets him off to a perfect start, winning 4-1. We're going to be straight back with Paul Hogan against Niall Cullerton. to the online darts live league for match number two week seven day four group c Niall Kiddington in the beautiful Kilkenny up against Paul Hogan formerly of the West Midlands area of course now a bit of 
stays in Stoke for many, many years. Three times a quarter finalist in the BDO World Championship, going back as far as 1995. Incredibly long career and still a very dangerous player. <laughs> Always seems to enjoy a run at the UK Open. Comes through the qualifiers. Made the last 16. 16 a couple of times. Yeah, 2017 and 18. Got some big wins there. He's going to have a tough game against Nar Cullerton. One Narrowly four. missed out on winning Group A. Second spot, I think. One forty. I'm seeing some very, very good stuff from Nile. If you want. High average over the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at Group A was 99.93. Fabulous match One against point. Martin Adams, winning 4 2. Martin averaged 95.56 in that one. How good was that to see from One's Shane Burgess after so long away from the game? Especially under the lights. 100. Five to six, each of two. This one. 41. Very much like Shane. I'm not sure what we're gonna what we're gonna get from Paul. Thirty. Yeah, 16-2. That's a hold of throat from Paul Hogan to get us underway. A couple of missed darts for Niall Cullerton for the break, but he has the darts in leg two. was Charles Barstow, Robert Thornton runner-up. First max of the match goes to Cullerton. 60. Played 12 matches over the Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Did... Paul Hogan had a running average of nearly 87, but was finishing as his Achilles heel, only 27.34%. Really would cause him some problems. 40. Five. Missed doubles again for Niall, but won't be punished with Hogan on 178. <coughs> 100. Is that a little bit too close? Yeah, maybe. Eighteen. Another six on the doubles. Eighteen. It was sixty for Paul. Twenty and tops. There's the twenty. Twenty-one. 
Yes, 78 in And there's the top. So, as I said before, the doubles was costly in week two when Paul Hogan played in Group C and made the final. Not tonight, however. Two out of two on the doubles, 100%. And 2 nil up. Sixty. Very good score there, Paul Hogan. If he can combine that with his current finishing, it's going to go well. Sixty. Forty one, sixty, one eighty, I believe one sixty, one forty. Definitely need it. Danger and broke straight back. quite got his scoring boots on yet. I was very impressed with him at times over the first three days. 58. Not a player I particularly knew a lot about. Plenty of talent in Ireland, north and south. He has options. May go for the ball. It's only with double 18. Not that it was friendly to him so far certainly not in the second leg oh, 82 left probably liked the lie of that one would have left 90. double 11 had he found the trouble 20 so eight darts at a double so far not hit one and again it's right on the wire second dart. this time he could use that as a guide <laughs> and slip down the side of it and does break straight back 2-1 has the darts in leg four For young Nathan Rafferty. 100. Currently sat in third spot on the table, winning three of his five matches today. 95. Five legs in our fifteen matches today. Eighty. One hundred. Yeah, there's a one forty you would think here to try and apply a bit of pressure. One hundred. On the one oh eight. Leaves tops. And again, another missed start of double. He's averaging over 90 despite only 9%. One from 11 on the doubles. 100. So there's pressure. 
this is to level things up and put us back on throw. And we are back on throw. Now this match turns into a best of three. And it's Paul Hogan with the darts in leg five. All of our matches across all of the groups and the final are best of seven. First of four. One hundred and forty. Well, this is in our first one, eighty six sixty three for Shane, eighty four ninety two for Rob Collins. This one at the moment, eighty seven for Paul Hogan, ninety two for Niall Cullerton. One, two, five. Fifty nine. This is now Collison's sixteenth match of the week. One, three, four. His finishing stats are. 34.51% prior to this one. So maybe a bit of early nerves having an effect. In terms of the finishing, nothing wrong with the scoring right now. 14 scores of a ton or more in total. Eleven for Paul Hogan. Still finish. 96 left. Trouble 20, double 18. What a time here. This would be for Cullerton to break throw. He will have the darts in leg six. Second dart. Yeah, does like it on that side of the board, and that's a 14 dart break of throw. The best leg of the match so far. More importantly, Cullerton has the darts now in leg six. Forty-one. Burgess's stats were impressive in the opening match in terms of the checkouts 57.14 percent four from seven yes, had a go it's been immaculate 100 percent two from two Two legs to pull in 17 and 18 darts. 41. And then the next three for Cullerton in 17, 16, and 14. 100. Three straight tons for Paul Hogan. One, three, four. Despite that one three four has stolen the darts in leg six. Fifty nine. He knows how important it was there to find a treble. One hundred. He easily didn't opt for the bullseye on dart three. Is he gonna stay there again? He does. Double eleven for three three. One hundred and twenty. See Niall go 57 or ball here. He's gone ball. Tops, tops now. 80 left. There's one of them. There's the other. And a real showpiece finish to round things off. 4 2. Unlucky there, Hogan, on the 1 4 2 finished. Right, we're going to be back with Reese Robinson against Shane Burgess.
Sports Live League in association with iGame Media and Red Dragon. This is match number three of ten. Week seven, day four, Group C. Denise Robinson, 28 from Hull, used the 23 gram target dart. Up against Shane Burgess using a 26 gram set of cheapos. Start from Shane, beat Rob Collins 4-1 with an 86-63, 57% on the doubles. That was trumped in our last match, what well, the overall average was. Now Cullerton winning 4-2 with a 91.16. Paul Hogan with a very respectable 88.04. Good start to the nice. I was impressed with Reese Robertson. Especially yesterday, produced some really good stuff. Highlight of the Wednesday. 100. Was a full one win over Nathan Rafferty. Rafferty averaged 88.32. Reese Robinson, 101.24. 80% on the doubles. 55. 4-9 about Robinson. 13-8 around Burgess. watched yesterday what I've seen from Shane hard to disagree with that Dowd at 28 Six. years of age at least we'll know too much about Shane Burgess First little fancy of the night. Rob Collins to hit over 0.5180s is at 5 to 6 against Paul Hogan. The 1180 or more at 5 to 6. Hit two in the opening match against Shane Burgess. 81. Strong start. One from Robinson. Double eight oh after yeah. 15 darts. A very comfortable hold of throw on the cards. And in it goes. And it is a 16 dart hold of throw. Slightly different scenario this time round for Shane Burgess. He is against the throw but has the darts in leg two. score a whole lot heavier against Reese Robinson. Seventy seven advantage of playing in the opening three days, so he's well up to speed. Certainly was evident in our previous match with Niall Cullerton and Paul Hogan. Especially with nowhere else to play darts apart from at home. So 78. Just take a while to get used to the environment. It's better from Shane. Much more assertive first dart. 140. One five. Already, the throw is un 
the pressure. Down to a finish, but you'd think Robinson will be down to a much easier one. Down to treble, though. 60. Changes the look of this leg. Treble 18 should be the shot for double 12. 94 57 Trouble 16 or Trouble 8 Trouble 8 was the target for tops that Leaves Double 12 Well, oh, two doubles and <coughs> didn't want either of them. 89 for Robinson to break throw. 20 ball. Right, Does love a bullseye. And slots that one in there for <laughs> an 89 finish. And a 2 nil lead. Holds his hand up. Bit unfortunate for Shane, missing the double 12 hitting the double 9, but it is 2 0 and the break of throw in favour of Reese Robinson. Come on. Averaging around 90. 45. <sighs> On five. Sixty six. Sixty six the hard way. Two trebles. Fortunately, two of them in the treble one. Should go ball with the first start. Twenty five leaves a ton. He does like a as I've said, a ball finish. Tops. Three that was a nice recovery in the <coughs> end and managed to close that leg out with a 1-2-5 and only 15 darts used. Winning 3-0 and in complete control. Shane not quite at the races in this one. Tom. One, two, one. Robertson did produce some very, very good stuff over the first three days. 60. 60. One forty. One 
100. Petit plan F. to leave tops 180 and that's exactly what he's found oh, well, to finish off a very solid performance Third dart. 16, 18, 15, and 15 darts was enough for a 4 0 win there for Reese Robinson. A very, very solid performance, including that lovely 1 2 5 checkout. Okay, we're going to be straight back with Rob Collins against Paul Hogan. And welcome back for match number four of tonight's week seven, day four, Group C. Rob Collins, over a 22 gram Brand Red Dragon Dart, a former Challenge Tour winner, up against 58 year old Paul Hogan. He uses a 24 gram Paul Hogan signature dart. In our last one from Reese Robinson, winning 4 0. He tops the table on leg difference, of course. Averaged 94 and 66% on the doubles. 1 180. Winning legs of 16, 18, 15, and 15. Rob 
has the darts here. Rob averaged 85 in his opener against Shane. Paul Hogan averaged 88.04 against Noah Cullerton. And 4-2. Cullerton and Reese Robinson back in action in our next match will be will be match oh, number sorry. five yeah. of ten. They had some clashes throughout Nine Group A Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, Cullerton getting the better of Reese Robinson on the three Nine occasions. A very backable four to seven in that one. Five to four. About Reese Robertson. Bond in twenty-four. Played a total of fifteen legs over three days. And it's twelve three in favour of Bolivon. Cullerton. Just checking my math. Made it a nine. Straight into the 14, so 27 remaining. Two 12s. Yeah, 41. And three. Finds the double 12 for a 15 dart break of throw in leg one. It's always a handy spot on 27 down there. The 19 leaves double eight, three leaves 24, seven leaves double 10. Just in case you ever end up in that position. One hundred. Fifteen dark break of throw to get us underway. For those of you that are new to the game, Wonderful. fifteen darts equates to a hundred average. Hundred point two zero. For those of you that like to be pedantic. Sixty. <coughs> Still a chance for a break back for Collins here. Find a couple of trebles. First start is awkward for him when it's low, and that's a blocker again. Seven. All three. A wire. Fifty nine. <coughs> it's a finish of one sixty four. Good recovery. Eighty four. Trouble twenty. Two trouble nineteens. Could go ball. Twenty five leaves a ton. Eighty nine. The ball's a bonus. So can Paul Hogan take out ninety eight? Couldn't leave double twelve this time. Leaves tops, but Rob Collins seventy five for the break back. Trouble seventeen. So fifty eight remaining. Topsy needs. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Another chance for Rob Collin. 
Jones to level things up. Come on. Finds the double ten. It's the break back. It's one apiece, and we're back on serve. Rob Collins <coughs> to throw first in leg three. Followed by advice, five to six to hit just one one eighty was too good to be true. One forty. Forty four. One piece in the one eighties. Leg, 85. Which was a 15 dart breaker throw. Collins broke back in leg two with a 19 darter. Started leg three with a max. Has not followed it up though. 97. Ooh, didn't he need that? Just about holding on to throw. Here. <laughs> 140. 140. Leaves tops after 12. Much better leg this from Rob Collins. 60. And finds the double top with his final dart. Does eventually hold throw there a 15 dart leg, including that 180. <coughs> Paul Hogan to throw first in leg four. Second 15 dart leg of the match. 60. One apiece in that department, one apiece in the 180s. One fourteen. Both players averaging in the late eighties. Fifty. Great lineup for you next week. Paul Nicholson back in the hot seat from Monday morning, 9.30 a.m. Live league to a another level. One hundred. One hundred. <coughs> another very tidy leg from Paul Hogan. Thirty six left after fifteen. One four. A 16 dart leg this time. It's been a very respectable match so Mark so far. Winning legs for Paul Hogan in 15 and 16. All four legs now. Two breaks, two holds. But we're back on throw, and it'll be Rob Cullens to throw first in leg five. Two breaks of throw, followed by two holds of throw. One 
40. One forty. Eighty one. <clears throat> Yeah. Scores of a tug of war already in this match. Fifty seven. What a chance for Paul Hogan to break through and move three two in front. As always 60. a key moment at two all with the player Throwing second, if they do get the chance to serve it out in leg number six. 60. Double 16. Yeah, I'm pretty pins there. the double 16 for a 104 finish. And more importantly for Paul Hogan. It's a break of throw, and it's a break of throw he would have needed at some stage of this match to win it. And he now has the chance in leg six. Forty. 15, 16, and 15 darts. The three winning legs for Paul Hogan now. Over ninety. Eighty three. Ninety three. Hogan throw now Rob Collins. Seventy six. So has the opportunity, has the darts to break back. Another one of those leaves one seventy. Big fish, as it's known. We really have to go for it. No is the answer. Ninety-six. Second <coughs> double nineteen would have left. Double eighteen. Still a bit of work to do on the seventy-four. One hundred. Tops if he likes double ten, which is why he's gone fifty four, it should be sixteen. One oh four in leg five. Can he take one oh two in leg six for the win? Yeah. Back to back Tum plus finishes for Paul Hogan. Breaks the heart there of Rob Collins. Really should have leveled things up there. Made a little bit of a mess, missing the big 16. OK, we're going to be back with Niall Cullerton against Reese Robinson.
evening and welcome back. We are rattling through these matches this evening. We're on to match number five of week seven, day four, group C. Niall Cullerton against Reese Robinson. Turning out Reese from Hull. The uh, fabulous youth player. Entering the second stage of his career, I suppose. A fabulous performance from Paul Hogan in our last match. Winning legs of 15 16, then a 104 checkout for 15, and then wrap things up with a 102 checkout. A decent performance from Rob Collins, of course, averaged 87 35. Paul Hogan, 88.76. Three, three times, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On each occasion, Cullerton winning 4-1. He's only a 4-7 favourite. 80. Congrats to those of you that ploughed in on that. 100. Rob Collins, 180. Welcome. One five. Eighty one. Oh, Cullerton, so our first three darts of 57. week seven. Was a 180 followed by 140. Ah, nine. 79. After this match is completed, we will do a, a rundown on five league table so far. Just joining. Lively for the first time. The overall winner on Monday, Tuesday, Same Wednesday. Thing. The overall table topper. Through, through to Saturday night's final. That was Martin oh. Adams. Seven left. Places second and third come back for this group C with the new three players over the two nights. The top two in that group go through to the final. Same with the morning group. Players four, five, and six going into Far that back. one. Well, we've seen some wonderful finishing. That's another great finish from Noah Cullerton. A double double. We should see a double double, of course, from Niall a little earlier on the tops tops, but that was double eighteen and tops. And the ninety six finish. 20, left 76, double 18, left 40. One dart in the leg, double 7. Reese Robinson. 81. Nancy Fowl. Doubles percentage in that last one for. Paul Hogan was 57.14%, 4 from 7. 60. Yes, then it was. It was a killer's heel in. 58. His previous appearance in the live league. Scores so far tonight. Burgess, a 4 1 winner over Rob Collins. Then Niall Cullerton beat Paul Hogan 4 2. Then Reese Robinson beat Shane Burgess 4 0. And then we just see Paul Hogan pick up his first win of the night, beating Rob Collins 4 2.
100. Oh, we'll see the liar for so the first start. He's looking for the ball ball. So 18 tops. Looking like another hold of throw in leg two. Two tens. Ooh, 38. Well, I took out the 105, 25 top tops. It's going to have to be 25, trouble 20. 105. Unfortunately, couldn't find the trouble 20, but he's put a bit of pressure on. Leaves double 10. Third dart. Ooh. What a big, big dart. That final dart was there to hold throw. Now Cullerton waiting on double 10 for a break of throw and a 2 0 lead. As it is, it's two holds of throw, and it will be Niall to throw first in leg three. Now Cullerton over ninety six. The first three days had a running average of eighty six and a half, a high of ninety nine point nine three, sixteen one eighties. Check out percentage, just shy of 40%, which is very impressive indeed, including five ton plus finishes. 100. Reese had a running average of just a, a point less, a high of 101.24. Check out 55. percentages of 37.72. Opportunity to break through here in leg three. 94. Throwing second will need a break of throw at some stage to win the match. Kenny. Super shot to leave 36, 7 19s. Here is the break of throw opportunity. Third dart. And it's taken yet again, finding the double with his final dart, but he is 2 1 up and now a break of throw up. In control by the seams of it. Now Cullerton. Scoring anywhere near heavy enough so far. Plenty of Irish involvement in the live league, of course. One five. North and south. I'm off to Ireland on my holidays at some point when I can get over. Going to Cork. 
beautiful area Going to see a few friends for a nice break 58 bit efficient to kill Kenny en route as they say enjoyed living in for a few years Ooh. 79 Ooh. 140 better from Nile And then ten under one forty. Eighty two. Do with another one here. It's a perfect lie for him. He doesn't follow it. It's the move now. One hundred. It was a minimum really, wasn't it? for a 142 102 super effort Maurice Robinson trouble 17 wow. 57 not quite at it in this one one dart this time nails it in one dart and a commanding 3-1 lead now for Reese Robinson. As I said, the three previous meetings all went 4-1 in favour of Noel Cullerton. Maybe instead of repeat, it's going to be revenge. Reese Robinson's going to run out a 4-1 winner. 140. one a 16 darter 58 he was capable of a much higher standard 140 at the moment some five points off of his running average over the 15 played between Monday and Wednesday and just when you think he's Get back into it and pops Robinson with a 140. A max. Three 140s. A leg for Cullerton. Nancy now. Does have a very solid game in the locker. for double ten or 42 for 32 Her dart. that's a beautiful leg of darts a 12 dart holder throw well that's what he's capable of but Robinson has the darts here to serve it out Three one forties and an 81 checkout One eighty in leg five is followed by one eighty in leg six. That's a way to start a leg you need to win the match and make it two out of two in the league. One five. Tough for the Hughes players, of course, to make that transition across from youth to senior level. That's why there is the 85 development tour and challenge tour, and of course, JDC before that. Ninety-five. The lads outside of the tour card holders. Have something else to get their teeth into. Two nines. 
Seventy-eight. Would have been an eleven darter, and the double nine for a twelve. One hundred. One bat. Hold, <laughs> and he does repay the favour after three defeats. He yeah. eventually picks up a win against Noah Cullerton and he goes top of the table. Right, we're going to be straight back with Shane Burgess against Paul Hogan. Number six of ten, Shane Burgess against Paul Hogan. Arrives in St. Helens, originally from Hastings, of course. Mixed bag for Shane so far. Well, Paul, really. A 4 1 win against Rob Collins, where he averaged 86.63. Hogan went down 4-2 to Niall Cullerton. And then Reese Robinson beat Burgess 4-0 before Paul Hogan beat Rob Collins 4-2. And we've just seen Reese Robinson defeat Niall Cullerton 4-2, a 92-45 average despite 10 darts wasted at a double. Now on reflection of what we've seen, the 4-9 Matt Hogan, very, very backable indeed. 60. 100. 45. Some good moments for Hogan in that 4-2 win against Rob Collins, including back-to-back -back ton plus finishes, the 104 and the 102 to win it was 57.14% on the doubles, 4 from 7, 1180, 3140s, 10 scores of between a ton and 139. Of eighty eight seventy six one forty Burgess played very solid in that opening match. Reese Robinson forty five. He averaged seventy one point seven. Bad. 
three. One dart and a double. And he started off this one with the darts with a one one six finish and a fifteen dart hold of throw. Who knows? One forty. As I say, trying to second guess a dart player is a very futile business at times. One forty in a ton. Two visits in leg two for Hogan. One hundred and forty. Twenty-four after twelve. One hundred. Start. Hold of throw levels things up for Paul Hogan. It's a very bright start from Shane Burgess. That 116 finish and 15 darts, but didn't get anywhere near replicating that in leg two. Six on the leg difference, courtesy, of course, of that 4 0 win against Shane. Niall and Paul on two points with zero leg difference. Shane, two points minus one. And Rob Collins, no points minus five. The goal, of course, is the finish. Top two at the end of tomorrow night's play. And we'll come back for the finale at 9.30 on Saturday night. Many thanks to the continued sport support across our platforms, 81. including YouTube, where we have an incredible million-plus views now of the Online Darts Live League. Throw opportunity for Hogan. Himself, you're trying too hard, and that's the 60. that's the danger of this game. Stop gripping the dart a little bit too hard, too much of a tricep, too much shoulder comes in. 
40. There it is. Much more fluidity to the throw. So he's in a 140. 180. <laughs> the 180, <Still> but <laughs> not too sure about that. Three is just not the nicest double on the board. No score. One is up. Yeah, nothing wrong. Yeah, the, the doubles. That's two out of two on the outside ring for Shane Burgess, and it's another hold of throw. Not sure about the 180 to leave six there from Paul Hogan. Fifty four. Very much like in golf, we have force management. Most of us refer to it as board management. 140. 60. I was going to say, surely here he won't 100. hit 180 to leave double two. That was a ton to leave 84 after 12. That's a lovely clean 84 for Paul Hogan and a 14 dart hold a throw. Like a couple of matches tonight, two apiece, now best of three. Throw. Hundred and forty. Shane, two out of two on the doubles, hundred percent. Paul Hogan, two from eight. One hundred. More importantly, it's the three a double three for break a throw. Could or maybe should be needing three one. One hundred. In a ton to start leg five for Shane Burgess. He is blowing hot and cold at the moment. 60. Say that for both, of course. 60. Hogan's going to need a break of throw, but doesn't look like it's going to come from this leg. Well, unless he can find 140 or well, 60. 60. He's allowed Shane Burgess two visits. Get rid of 146. Another one of those for double 16. Yes. Oh. 16 left. Oh, 
double eight for a three two lead he's three out of four on the doubles is the bulldog and just one leg away from picking up his second win of the night That's now the four to nine favourite. Logan. Thirteen to eight. The roles have reversed. Point two. Shake of the head from Hoagie in the background. He's can't just work it out. Oh. 55. 55. 156 points scored in nine darts. Oh, you try harder it gets. in the leg for Paul Hogan. 100. One and two to leave tops. And the way Shane's been finishing, he may not get a go. Somehow, <laughs> with just two trouble twenties, oh, no. he ends up holding throw and taking it to a decider. Yeah, I can assure you, these two over the years would have had some real tussles. One hundred. I agree with Shane. A little bit better than this one at the moment. One hundred and forty. One hundred and thirty-seven. Very clever shot from Shane, keeping the pressure on. One hundred and forty. That's a great reply. Back to back one forties in this leg. There's just four treble twenties in the whole of leg six.
great last start. 82 to leave 82. Four 19s and ball for Paul Hogan. 28 left. And he would have been a real rescue job. And a really slack last one. So Shane Burgess on 82. 20 and ball. Trouble 17 for double 16. 16 and ball. Can he hit the ball? Oh my god. Uh, 10 and 10. Yeah, 3 and 1. He's been good on double 8. And he leaves it again. Yes. <laughs> 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 with a 17 dart hole to throw in the end and a joyful Shane Burgess celebrates. Right, we're going to be back with Rob Collins against Niall Cullerton. back. This is match number seven. And it's between Rob Collins and Niall Cullerton. Rob yet to pick <coughs> a win tonight. One win and one loss for Niall. He's on two points. Shane Burgess is on four points. Reese Robinson on four points. Hogan on two points, and like I said, Rob Cross looking, uh, Rob Cross, <laughs> Rob Collins looking for his first win. Opening match. First max goes to Nile. And Nile. Sixty. Average ninety-one point one six in his opener. Eighty five. Just over ninety in his second match. Average eighty seven thirty five. Fifty one. Still not sure how. Fifty five. 
Logan managed to lose that last one. Thirty-six. Credit to Shane when he got to a double. Invariably hit it. Fifty percent, four from eight. Just three from ten for Paul Hogan. Ten. <coughs> to win it, much closer to the second. Twenty-five than the twenty-five, but Niall Cullerton opens up with a break of throw in leg one. Leads one nil. Will kick off leg two. There's a win here to join Shane and Reese on four points. One Break the throw. Was enough. Did miss. Now it's a double in that opening leg. Sixty. Just say, Collins had a lot of luck so far. Trouble 20 with dart number three. I think he's just realized that. 41. No damage done. <coughs> is still available. Paul Hogan at four to six favourite. Eleven to ten about Perfect. Reese Robinson. Oh, Niall Cullerton does take that out and win wins leg at two with the darts. Rob Collins with it all to do now. Has to start somewhere. Why not with the throw in leg three? Hundred and forty checkout caught me napping there. I was in the laptop. <coughs> Looking at those mad odds on Reese Robinson. 97. Absolutely seen nothing from Ogie so far tonight. 57. To suggest he would beat Reese Robinson. Filled. Fifty-seven. Cullerton 
senses an opportunity here. needed that although tops left would have been a 140 finish in leg two followed by a 148 in leg three a smile from Collins oh, could have turned into a grimace had that double ten not gone in but he's found the double and his hold throw. <coughs> Still a lot to do. He's going to have to find a break of throw. Connaughton lead the darts. In leg four. One forty. Consecutive 140s so far in this leg. Can Rob Collins make it a fourth? 140. Lovely stuff from both in leg four. Six feet. Too far. 96 after 9 for Collins here. Great setup shot from Cullerton, but trouble 20. Double 18. May go double double. There was not a bad lie for his darts. Did go. For the double double attempt. 56. Both left a double after 12. It's Cullerton who has Second to throw left. and finds double 16 in 14. For a 3 1 lead. Lovely leg, le lovely leg from both in leg 4. Leg 5. It's Collins to throw first. Averages 92 0 6 50 for Mark Cullerton and again Rob Collins into the high 80s and not getting a lot out of this one. Back to back 140s again. Leg 5. 140-140-125 in leg four. He didn't get nothing out of that one. He's going to get something out of this one, though. 57. Under a, a bit of pressure. One, three, two. Not a bad finish for a man that likes the bullseye. If he gets a go. Seventy-seven. Four 
Ball double 16. Ball number 14 tops or 25 treble 19. Bullseye. And for the 42. Understandable with a, a flat lying dart. That wasn't positioned the best in the bullseye. Could have done with it low in the ball. Lions double five with his final dart to keep this one alive. Oh, Colleton <coughs> poised for the win, but it's 3 2. Colleton has the darts in leg six. Can he serve this one out? Sam. Forty three. Finish. And now Colleton. 140. Oh, come on. oh dear, sixth 140 for Collins. 44. Put him in a good spot. And he's left. He's let Cullerton off. Super stuff. One seven seven leaves thirty six. But will he get a go? Secondary. No. Great finishing under pressure from Niall Cullerton and Rob Collins yet again is denied his first win. All right, we're going to be back for match number eight. Paul Hogan against Reese Robinson.
Good evening and welcome back for match number eight. Three more to bring you over the next hour. Final match of the night for Paul Hogan. He's up against Rhys Robinson who has two to play. This one and our final match against Rob Collins. Currently, Rhys Robinson played to one, two, plus six. Well, Cullerton played three, one, two, plus two. And Shane Burgess played three, one, two, zero on the leg difference. <coughs> As I say, I'm looking at all the numbers from tonight. You get even money. One forty. Uh, Robinson. One hundred. Alive for me. Understand why Hogan would be eight to eleven favourite. Sixty. One five. Could be wrong, of course. Does happen occasionally. Say I try to avoid any kind of opinions on this stuff. It's mainly all based on the data we have available, which I do have reams and reams of it. One eighty. Tops. 96. Well, 61 for Paul. 59 remaining. Just. Uh, 21. Well, tops for a break of throw and a 13, well, possibly a 13 dart leg for Robinson. Two tens. Third dart. Finds it with the third dart. It's a 15 dart break of throw in leg one for Reese Robinson. <laughs> Unbeaten so far tonight, of course. One is matched in leg two by Robinson. One Fifty-eight. Three big trolls needed Hogan to need a finish. Bit of time for Reese here. Again, one sixty seven down to a double. Sixty. One hundred. Still two visits at one oh seven if needed. Chance 
the back to back 15 dart legs. Three dart. And in it goes. Very nice finish from Reese Robertson, averaging 100.20 right now. Back to back 15 dart legs. And Paul has the throw in leg three. Come forward. Averages right now at three point one hundred eight two. Oh, sorry, one forty for Robinson. 6.1 for yeah, <laughs> Paul Hogan. Oh, oh, Sixty. Forty-five. One hundred. So pull down to one twenty after. Just 12. <coughs> nice chance for 182. a 15 dart leg. score oh, this would hurt this would be for three 15 dart legs oh. it would have been for back to back 10 plus finishes this would be a just maybe oh, doesn't look too bad from our angle can we sneak over the top yeah, yeah, sure. yeah that's a super Good dart one. from Paul Hogan and a very, very small target to aim at. And made the adjustment and found the double 16 to hold throw. 18 darter. Still a break of throw adrift. Points up in the averages, 99.19, 85 oh for Paul Hogan. He's a 140, just to get back into the leg. Brilliant. That's a fourth max in the match. Two apiece. On five. In the scoring phase of his fourth leg, and he's not left to finish. And that leaves 71. 81. Leaves tops. Not tops for 3 1. Possible. 13 dart leg. Third dart. 
Reynolds to 14. The winning legs for Reese Robinson in this match so far, 15, 15 and 14. Leads 3-1. Paul Hogan has the darts in leg five. Eighty-one. Just trying to dink it over and find the corner of the trouble twenty there. Eighty-five. Sixty-one. A particularly bad time. Third dart seems to take a horrible deflection. Hogan still battling. Ninety-five. Robinson needs a fifth one forty. And get a bit of pressure on the Hogan throw. Forty-seven. Paul's going to make him 100. serve it out. He did look down there like he was going to switch, but stayed up. 40. That's where this leg has came from for Robinson. 89. Wouldn't be too concerned, of course, because it was on the Paul Hogan throw. One five. So preferred that throw at the start of leg six. Yeah, Hogan, second again, with the smallest of adjustments, finds double 16 to close the gap to one. But it's Reese Robinson who has the darts here in leg six. Sixty. One eighty. One hundred. A couple of moments ago, in running, Reese Robinson was a ten to one on. Eighty one. Money outsider of the two. And now Hogan has the darts here. time but not in that situation 100. 20 goes in he's having to go at one two five ball maybe 130 Thirty-seven. Two darts to win it. Four two. Yeah, 
Genshin. Paul Hogan finds the double ten with his last dart to make it 3-3. Three, three. And incredibly has the darts now to serve it out. Eighty-one. Pressure is now on this man. Forty-eight. I think at any stage. Fifty-nine. Like losing this match until now. Led 2 0 and 3 1 was 15 points at one stage ahead oh, in really? the averages. 38. 10 to 1 on. Sixteen. Oh. <laughs> now a 2 to 1 dog. Mystifying. Sixty. Oh, to be a bookie. tonight double 16 17 so to wrap up the match and complete the comeback double eight surely find a way in there Sixteen. Ah, view. Tops. Three dots. Tops again. I went from Bollinger to Shandy Bass back to Bolly. Anyway, match nine coming up. Nar Cullerton against Shane Burgess.
welcome back for our penultimate match of the night. That win puts Reese Robinson on six points plus seven. Ryan and Shane both on four points. Reese has, of course, one more match to play. Final game of the night against Rob Collins. Three to one on. Now Cullerton here. Twelve to five. Shane Burgess. Fingers were nearly burned in the last one. But again, as it suggests here that one should be Six remotely close, although that was the case in the last one, of course. Paul Hogan ended up having match darts. Oh, no. 17. <laughs> 26. One forty. So the averages from that last match eighty seven ninety two for Robinson Hogan. 98. There was five one eighties in the match. Three two in favour of Paul Hogan. Check out stats. Twenty seven point two seven for Paul. One hundred. Three from eleven. Thirty three point three three. Four from twelve for Robinson. One. Robinson hit eight six. Favor of scores between a ton and 139. 6 3 in favor of Robinson in the 140s. 3 2 in favor of Paul in the 180s. 2 ton plus 100. checkouts in the match. Of course, both going. It's Robinson. Ten. Help you. Eighty. Don't forget, we're back tomorrow morning. Cullerton. It's double five. A 22 dart hold a throw there. Shane Burgess did have a dart at double 19 off that 118. He does have the darts in leg two. So we're back tomorrow morning to resume group B that Scott Marsh currently tops. In 10 points. 60. Chasing pack behind him. And we'll be back. We will be back tomorrow night at 9:30 a.m. to conclude this group C. By that time, we will know the 
four other finalists. 21. Joining Martin Adams at 9.30 on Saturday night. Sixty. And then we'll be on to our week eight. Sixteen. For a break, and then another revised edition of the online darts live league with some huge One news point. to come. Ninety-five. Twenty-five. Eighty. Got a switch. And does That's successfully. Double ten for two Seven now. Left. And the double ten goes in this time with absolutely no drama. It's a break of throw. Cullerton in control, 2 0 up, has the darts in leg three. <coughs> Cullerton starting to turn it on. Perfect darts from Mal Cullerton for the first time this week. To use the bullseye first to take that out of the equation. <coughs> Perfect setup. Twenty four after twelve. Two of them there now. Yeah. Well, let's just push the dart down slightly. Have to change the angle of attack. Let's move the right. Sighted the line in and found the double 12 appreciated there by Shane Burgess. It was a 15 dart hold of throw in the end. Shane finding himself. 3 nil down, got it all to do. As I said, he was 3 to 1 on. Which is plenty short enough, I know, but absolutely nothing. 
think, suggested Shane was bit remotely close to winning this one. of just trying that 100. a little bit too hard. Those sports that you have to be focused, of course, but remain as relaxed as possible. <coughs> Second max of the match. Cullerton. Kilkenny man closing in. On a 4 0 win. Won't do his leg difference, no harm, that's for sure. Thank you, Last chance saloon for Shane Burgess. was needed to start the combination. 59. Doesn't find the 19 cover on this occasion. Double 10. Two fives. And two match darts. Have come and gone. Shane hit tops. Six. One dark. Hit the double eight, a uh, double ten. You almost feel it's a consolation for Shane, but it is a leg on the board. But no, Cullerton, of course. How's the darts in leg five? Multiple, multiple match darts. Five of them. One easy. Nice the way to start the next leg after missing match darts. Forty-seven. That's a strong mental approach, carrying over the disappointment into the next leg. 8 is for Cullerton in the last three legs. Legs 3, 4 and 5. 25. Shane, but still, as you can see, 108 adrift plus these. Works along 60 bed. the line in the opening dart there Cullerton but made the adjustment beautifully sixty eight remaining here's Shane on two two nine double four seventy eight would have been beautiful beautiful way to finish the match. Ninety-seven. Four. Oh, the 
Bulldog. Should be going for the ball. Another one of those for double 16. Been <laughs> wonderful to see. Who's <laughs> tops? Two. Tenth time of asking. Second there. Eventually, Eventually gets over the line, <laughs> yeah, as he says the there, with a 17 dart holder throw. Finishes the day on six points, plus five leg difference. Right, our final match of this session, Reese Robertson against Rob Collins is up next. <laughs> somewhere as well I should imagine final match Reese Robinson up against Rob Collins quick table update Reese still on top six points plus seven leg difference that's four one win from Niall puts him on six points plus five <coughs> Four points minus three. Paul Hogan. Two points minus two. <laughs> Rob Collins minus seven. Yet to find a win. So just two legs here from Reese Robinson. Guarantees he will top the table overnight. Don't forget to join us. 9.30 tomorrow morning. We will be kicking off with Nathan Rafferty. It's Adrian Gray in the conclusion of Group B. Again, for the continued support, tens of thousands of you watching across our multiple platforms. Oh, boy. Of course, we're going out just on YouTube. Nancy six. Across many, many bookmaker sites. Join the action while having a little flutter. If you've enjoyed a few wins tonight. One eighty. Max of the match. Mr. Reese down to forty five after twelve. <coughs> Two dots. Lovely end to the leg there from 
Reese Robinson. 2-2-5 in five. He's 1-0 up. This week, Reese. Sometimes tries to throw before he's set. As I said, everybody behind the scenes is really thrilled. we've done in the first seven weeks of bringing you the all new revised online darts live league 180. over one million views alone just on youtube so incredible support Ooh, 38 They're in the room. Twenty after twelve. Oliver Collins in leg two. One three three. Two tens for one apiece. A fourteen darter in leg one from Robinson with a one eighty. Super effort from Reese Robinson. <coughs> Literally that close. You could hear how close it was. But 180 and a 17 darter in leg two. Levels things up. A tough night for Rob Collins. Be a bit harsh, in my opinion, if he goes through the card this evening without a win. Can he get one in his final match of the night? Oh. 24. Here is an immediate opportunity to make hay. The Robinson throw. One hundred. Good last one. Sixty. Another solid from Robinson against Hogan. Can briefly go missing for a while. One eighty. As I said at the start of the night, it's a fair few 180s, does Rob Boy Collins. Five. And when we seen that five to six a little earlier, one of the games to just hit at least one it was too good to miss out on. And I know a lot of you took that advice. Sixty. Oh man. Eighty five. throw and a 2-1 lead. 58. That will do. 1-3. <coughs> 
five. Good pressure though from Robinson. Two tens. About the opportunity for the breaker throw. Will Robinson step in once the ball? Twenty-five. And eventually, does get the breaker throw. It's a twenty dart leg, but. That will matter not. What matters is the breaker throw. The 2 1 lead needs to build on it now. Has the darts in leg four. And he's played too well for my liking to not win a match tonight. Hopefully, to pick up a win here. Still a lot of work to do, we know. This man does have some gears. One eight two. About to find them now. That's four in this match, two apiece. Only in the fourth leg. Oh, oh my forty six. Five. Second time this evening we've seen five perfect darts into the nine. Fifty eight. More irrelevant than what happens in the match. As Robinson One four, this five. leg, which is looking likely, he's on a ten darter. Eighteen. <coughs> Maybe a little premature, but a win on that leg would have guaranteed table overnight oh, and that will be the case it's a 13 dart break of throw we're back on throw with Robinson having the darts in leg five Forty. Six. <laughs> yeah, he was sixty-four. Double eighteen after nine darts in the previous leg. Fifty-nine. Once. 160 more in the next leg. 180. 180, number 5. Match. 3 2 now in that column in favour of Rob Collins. Only 17 points away on a break of throw and a 3 2 lead. Eight to travel eighteen. Fifty nine. 
pass out from me. It is approaching 12.30 at night. Five. Break back for Rob Collins gives him a 3 2 lead. Now, just one leg away from putting his first two points on the table. If you agree, it's been a good evening of darts. Real mixed bag. Plenty of 180s. See a ton plus finishes. And a fair bit of drama along the way. 47. To see the Bulldog Shane Burgess back throwing bits. Gram cheapos. Forty-two. Be a the out one, there that want to make a Shane Burgess start. Oh wait, twenty-nine. No, uh, thirty-nine. Sorry. Took a horrible deflection. <coughs> Just got Come wrapped on. around that first start in the treble five. Forty-four. And Collins just needs to take stock, relax. Oh man, 43. Trying to win too hard. Understandable when you've gone the night without picking up any points. One five. Errors. Changed his mind last minute. That was a last gasp at the 19s. Here he comes. 180. Unbelievable. It's 180, number six of this contest. Trouble 20 and tops. This will hurt. Rob <coughs> goes on to lose this one. 34 leaves 15. 7 double 4. Could be 3 double 6. No, 7 double 4. 3 double. That will <coughs> sicken. Sorry. Rob Collins to his boots. Just in the seven, wasn't it? Nearly bust into the 19. <coughs> and it's Reese to throw first in the seventh and deciding leg. Doesn't want any sleep anyway. We are back in exactly nine hours. 57. One eighty. One eighty. Number seven four three now. To Reese Robinson in that column. He needs to find a trouble. And does oh. just about staying in touch. Seventy eight. Chance of an either finish. First two a finish. Wonderful. Well, brilliant leg from Rob Collins on the back of the disappointment of 
of leg six. He's at two one forties in a ton in this deciding leg. Ninety seven. How big was that trouble? Nineteen for Robinson. Number seventeen. Left the ball for a blinder, but he's left 24 after 12. <coughs> it's hard to be critical of this effort in any way, shape, or form. But Reese Robinson finds the double 16, an absolute heartbreak for Rob Collins. Well, that's it. Reese Robinson, he's on top of the table overnight. Scott Marsh tops Group B. That's back at 9:30 a.m. this morning.